Okay, we're back. This is where we stopped. It's going to run. This is a good command to know because uh, you're probably going to be running this frequently when uh, you go, you upgrade uh, Web GUI or just to make sure everything is working properly. It's uh, going to uh, test the environment to see if all the, make sure that all the modules are installed to run a successful copy of Web GUI. There we go. Looks like most of them passed. Okay. Okay. If you may change that, is it right? Head into the continue. Okay. Okay, because this is a brand new installation, I'm going to go ahead and just run this. You may want to take a look at this just in case. Uh, Definitely read the documentation if you're upgrading a version of Web GUI, but because this is a brand new installation, I can run this no problem. Okay. I'm going to check. To make sure this is running properly give me a second and I'll be right back okay so it actually installed I'm going to check to make sure it's running yeah it looks like it's running so I'm gonna go to the actual slash data directory where the software is actually installed Okay, it creates a domains directory. That's where uh, you can actually run multiple websites on Web GUI, and the domains directory is where um, uh, most of your files get uploaded, and it allows for multiple configurations and multiple options to be ins not installed. But you, you can run multiple websites, and you can have custom. Um, uh, you, you don't want your users from one domain basically clobbering or overriding stuff uh, from users in another domain. So it's just easier to keep them separated this way. Anyway, the actual software is installed in this web GUI directory. I don't know if you can see that properly, but I'm going to change to that directory. And I'm going to change to the Etsy directory. So this is my actual path for the actual site configuration uh, the, to the different websites. For example, my current configuration file is going to be www underscore example underscore com dot conf. That's my main configuration file. This has all the features available for GUI, and most of these are documented. Or you can ask in the IRC channel about most of these options. Um, okay, everything looks good there. So, with GUI, it's installed and it seems to be running so we're going to go ahead and open a window and make sure uh, and see um, that uh, you'll the next video you'll see act an actual running copy of web gui in the browser see you soon okay here we go um as you can see 
I actually set my local host file to point to the IP address where the uh, where that system that we just saw is hosted at. So basically I created an entry in the host file so that when I type in my browser www.example.com it resolves to that IP address on that machine where I installed the web GUI software. So here comes up the uh, uh, admin or the web GUI default uh, uh, website installation. Username admin, you can leave that as is. As I told you before, the password is admin, I mean, uh, the password is 123QWE because this is going to be a test system for me or a development system. I'm going to leave it as is. You can put in an email address. I change this to New York. And then I click Save. You could change your company name and all that stuff. I usually just leave, tend to leave this as is. We got to fix that. I'm just going to put it example.com otherwise now we have some choices here when it comes to our style I tend to like this um, underground style it's actually a pretty uh, vanilla and pretty it, it works it's a nice style for me I like it a lot so that's the one I'm going to select you can select any of these other styles there are various choices here I tend to Pick this underground one. Um, more styles will be developed in the near future. Uh, stay tuned and you can probably download those from Plain Black or uh, whatever uh, other website where uh, web GUI styles are available. This is page builder. I usually say no thanks. And here it is. First copy of what we installed. I'm logged in as admin, as you can see. I have my options here. We turn on admin, we get our homepage, getting started, next steps, blah, blah, blah. You know, all this stuff. Join us. IRC, remember what I said about IRC? This is the place where we can actually uh, go and ask questions. There's forums where you can actually um, ask questions about the web GUI stuff. Okay, so just to show you, this is uh, web GUI up and running in two or three easy steps. Okay, future videos about the interface, how to use web GUI, how to develop for web GUI will be coming for now. Talk to you guys again soon. Hopefully you have a great installation. If you have any, any questions, post some comments and we'll try to get back to you. Or you can go to the IRC uh, uh, channel and ask questions there. See you soon. Bye-bye.